Today we are going to X-ray the N1 Nature Expressway and then we are going to listen to what the Minister of Works said about this uh, N1 Nature Expressway. However, the kind of uh, accident that is happening on this road, usually moving from uh, Oka to Onicha, is usually terrible and always fatal. And this accident happens frequently, that is on frequent basis, because people are using one lane, you know, one lane for those going to Onicha, one lane for and the same lane for those coming to Oka. So that is what uh, is causing that accident. You know, the road is very smooth and um, f um, uh, portal free. So drivers and uh, motorists tend to speed, tend to speed, you know, um, as much as they can. And uh, in this channel, I remember I usually warn motorists to desist from uh, speeding on that road it is wrong the traffic is one way as in the traffic uh, is just one lane and um, you are not supposed to move as if you are moving on the expressway you just move and use your common sense you know to drive that is what is required from uh, every motorist every driver using that road you cannot move at 100 kilometers per hour because the road is just one side that is being used for both traffics. So we used to say it, usually we have to tell ourselves the truth. The accidents are majorly man-made. Man-made accident. There is no two ways about it. So, but government usually come in when they see that uh, the thing is becoming too much that uh, they have to act as government by doing the needful by completing this road the other side of the road the same thing applies moving down to Enugu you know um, there are no signs that the two lanes have been completed the two sides it is either one one side of the two express uh, lanes that is uh, completed or none. Well, and uh, this side of um, Oka Axis moving down to Onicha or going to Agwaka side, which is where we are now, there is no work going there presently. So let's listen to what the Minister of Work said concerning this construction. Omahi declares in Wanisha one of the Nigeria's worst roads. Mm -hmm. It's one of the Nigeria's worst roads. So what is happening there now that will help to reduce the sufferings of the masses? Virtually over three, four months or five months self, work has not been going on on that road. Well, the Enugu side of it, I'm not sure. If anything is going on at Enugu side, but Anambra side, nothing, no work is going on. So let's look into the details of this uh, discussion, according to Vanguard. So it goes like this: the Minister of Works, Engineer David Omahi, has declared the 107 kilometer Enugu Onitsha Road as one of Nigeria's worst roads while describing the slow pace of work by the contractors handling the dualization project as disappointing. Well, is it a dualization project or dualized road? You know, the way they put it as if the road is under dualization. So let's proceed. Umahi expressed his uh, disappointment at a meeting he held with MTN the Enugu State Government and representatives of the contractors, Mrs. Uh, RCC Limited and Nigeria Limited, and the ministry's headquarters, Mabushi Bucha. This was uh, contained in a statement signed by his uh, special advisor, Media Honorable Oju Chenoji. 
he quoted Omahi as uh, directing the contractors handling the project to brace up for the implementation of the policies of the renewed hope administration with respect to speed and quality of work commitment to project execution and care for the comfort of uh, road users this he said can be achieved when contractors maintain one carriageway of the dual carriageway under construction to mitigate the sufferings of uh, road users. Funds for the project is being provided by MTN under road infrastructure development and the refurbishment investment tax credit scheme. Omar he said the MTN has engaged the subcontractors two subcontractors rcc limited and niger card limited the first time i supervised our project i discovered that the niger card section where we have a binder course had failed i directed that uh, the binder course must be scarified and uh, reinstated and i knew it was inherited i want to believe that it has been Let me also express my disappointment over the slow pace of work on that project. It's one of the worst roads in this country. Everywhere we have diversions, diverting from the one that ROCC and the Niger Card had completed. The contractors are not kind enough to even put stone base on the diversion points. So, by the reason of uh, the launching of our Operation Free Our Roads, it is now a violation of policy on the side of the controllers and the directors of the Federal Ministry of Works, where we have vehicles falling on any project that is ongoing or where there are potholes on our roads. The Minister further said last Sunday, I inspected that road with the governor of Enugu State and was there. And we saw the level of suffering of people at the Ababa section of that road where RCC Limited was putting binder about 3.5 kilometers of the road and they blocked it. And so everybody now resorted to using one carriageway which is not even maintained. And so some people stayed there for five hours, and that is not acceptable. I have continued to say that uh, Nigerians should not be suffering while contractors are building roads for our people. It does not happen in any other countries the way it happens in Nigeria. The public must know that uh, the president's intention is not for them to suffer while trying to fix the roads. And it is their right to insist that contractors should fix the roads that they are engaged on. Most of the time, contractors bring very serious uh, nuisances, hardship and pain to the public and they don't care. He, however, expressed gratitude to the government of Enugu State for their resolve to fund the construction of 20 kilometers above a junction to Akama 90 mile section of Enugu Onicha Road on rigid pavement and the construction of a flyover bridge at Ababa Junction to be refunded to be refunded through MTN tax credits. Wow. So Enugu have chosen to work on that road and construct a uh, an interchange or flyover there, but will be refunded by MTN through the tax credit scheme. Omahi expressed hope that MTN will still execute the construction of the second phase of the 107 kilometer times two road dualization. 
So the 102 double uh, road is describing the road from Onicha to Enugu. That is the full length of that road, 107 kilometers. So he continued, why Enugu state government is intervening in is because of the slow pace of work by the contractors and because of funding issues, he added. According to him, the essence of tax credit is for funds to be made available. And so I don't see RCC going to keep the, to their promises to finish this project in six months. Anyway. My advice to MTN is to look for another contractor within that axis if they want to get the job done. Division of labor is even the best while they are doing the road. And if Nigercat is doing a good job, you can give them greater scope to do if you want to finish that job. He warned that contractors delaying jobs are on their own as federal government as a matter of policy would not accept a phased handover of projects and has phased out VOP in contract administration. The minister reiterated that uh, the contractors must in line with the renewed hope agenda maintain all roads handled by them until they are fully completed and uh, handed over to federal government. Addressing representatives of RCC Limited, Omar, he said, when you are working, it's almost going bad. It's better to get it finished. As a policy, we are not doing a phased handover. You have to finish your job and then we inspect it. And if you take 10 years to finish your job, it's your duty to maintain the one that you have done that is failing. He re-emphasized the policy of the current administration which de-emphasized variation of price, VOP, but is open to contract review using prevailing rates. He further said, we have agreed on how to review the project from certificate number 12 and it is the prevailing rate that we are going to give to you. And so, there will be no VOP when we review the job. And we should all work very hard to see that within two weeks, we get these documents down. The BPP and uh, see if we can take it to FEC this month, that's the Federal Executive this month. He, however, noted that uh, the slow pace in the progress of work on the uh, Nugwanicha Road dualization does not lie in funding but in the execution by the contractors. <laughs> this is serious. I wonder how execution will be the problem and not money. Because I'm a Miheji all the ago. Money is always the issue why contracts are always slow. That's execution of jobs are always slow. So, but uh, in this case, Umahi is saying that um, what is slowing this job in Wanicha Expressway is uh, the contractors and not money. Well, they are the ones telling us what, giving us or dishing out the information. And uh, we are meant to believe this. However, this is the recent update on what the minister said concerning this uh, road project. Well, if you have not subscribed to Yanga Life channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, like this video, and don't forget to share this video. Thank you. Until I come your way next time, let's say bye for now.